Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers again this week. We won the die roll up against Uncle GG. Um, well, it's a decent hand. Uh, mm, you know, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. It's it's all right. We got the double Viverlink going. It's going to take us a second, but uh, that's all right. We'll, we'll get an idea of what Uncle GG's going on about here. We'll Ash Barons for our planes. Or our forest, I should say. See what happens. We got some blue. Alright, we're doing fairies, huh? Alright. Well, if I can get underneath some counter spells, we might be in decent shape. But, uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and be mana efficient here. Lord it up while we can get a lord down. Probably going to be the best thing. But that double Viverlin is coming, don't you worry. Double blue, they're going to hold up the counter spell this turn. Let's see. Looks like they're attacking in. Can't block. And they are going to be passing with that counter spell up. So, Blossoming Sands is actually going to help us quite a bit here. Just going to attack in. And pass to them. If they're not doing anything, I'm not going to do anything. They may have... Uh... Oh, nope, I'm just going to pass back to them. Okay. There's a ponder. Hopefully I'm not too close to the mic here. I feel pretty close. Let's do that. Let's back it up a little bit. There we go. That feels better. <clears throat> and there's the Delver. We got a Lord out though, and they're tapped out for the turn, so now we can really start digging in here. Questions though, do I want to put down the double Viverlin now and really just apply some good pressure, or do I want to get down a Lord? choices I think we're gonna go Lord and a Viverlint we'll say it will save the other Viverlint till they tap out again we're gonna put some some good pressure on them though so I'm fine with this all right three more damage And pass it back to you, Uncle. Does it flip? Does flip? Snap. Uh-oh. I don't like snap. That's pretty annoying. Didn't want to click out of that, but that's alright. They're going to start diving in here. They know they have the snap. So... Not super great for us. Let's just go to attack. See what they want to do here. There comes a snap, I'm assuming. Yep. Doing that. This is where they're going to probably counter our Lord. But we're going to get down the double poisonous. That's the plan. So let's try to put down the Lord. Here comes the counter spell. We already knew they were holding it up. I'm not super worried about it. Because now we got down two Viverlins. Equally as bad, in my opinion. Unfortunately, we don't have lethal with this next turn. We're really dang close, but not quite there. Another fairy. Let's 
Let's see if they swing in with the uh, aberration or not. Preordaining the heck out of uh, everything right now. Be nice to go hellbent and get this blade back going too while they're tapped out, but don't know if it's going to be possible. They are attacking in. Alright. Love to get like a flanking. Flanking would be nice here. Or just a lord. Alright, well, let's... Let's uh, try to get the hellbent going a little bit. Not going to be able to do it this turn anyways, just because uh, we do have the other planes in our hand, but we're still going to attack in here. We're still going to put the pressure on. They can double block a Viverlint, and I'm fine with that, honestly. Looks like they're going to double block the Lord, which, okay, risky choice considering the double poisonous that's happening. I get why they did it, but now we can put this down. Pass turn that way. We're still winning the race. Haven't seen any black, uh, so maybe they're mana screwed and... They're sitting on a Gurmog or something like that, but, uh, or we could just be going against Mono Blue. But typically when you got the Delver in here, you've got a splash of black. Morph, okay. What are you morphing, huh? I wonder. Attacking? Still attacking. Okay. Gem hide. Not exactly what I'm looking for here. Well, we are going to throw it down. And I'm pretty sure we just win. We just win. They can only block one thing. So we just attack in here and we get the double poisonous. So I had to think about it for a second. I don't know why. I was like, ah, what's going to be better, attacking in or hellbent? And so, oh, they can only block one thing. They shouldn't have blocked with the aberration. Shouldn't have blocked. Maybe they didn't realize they are at 7 Poisonous. Okay, that doesn't help anything. I just turn them face up, but thanks for telling me what this is. Turn two lands, draw two cards. Good to know, but you're still dead. Alright, so let's bring in Electricery. Pyroblast. Oh, let's see. What else do we want here? I'm going to bring in Relic. Uh, we didn't see the black, but it doesn't mean they're not playing with it. Take out a couple blade backs. Uh, don't really want striking. Do we play with a hunter? Hmm. I don't think we have to. Could probably cut like pretty much all of our red guys. <laughs> Leave the stampede seeds a little bit awkward, and I'll probably cut another winding way since we're bringing so many uh, other extra cards that aren't creatures. Twenty-nine creatures. Hmm. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Let's do it like this. Don't know how relevant the relic's gonna be if this is just mono blue, but we'll see. Uh, slower start, but we'll keep the hand. It's still decent. Uh, 
they're gonna ponder straight away here. Give me an untapped. All right, I'll take, uh... yeah, we're gonna do that still, absolutely. We're just gonna get our mana right first before we play anything. All right, they're just passing the turn. Grab ourselves a planes. I'm gonna put down a blossoming here. Play out our relic. See if they want to counter that. If they do, so be it. One less counter spell out of their hand. All right. Let's keep it clear. Just in case. Again, I don't know if there's any black in this one, but never hurts. All right. Pass it back to them. We got the Mystic Sanctuary. We're just going to play the passing game for a little bit. That's all right. Uh, I'm going to wait another turn, I believe, uh, to do anything. Considering the Mystic Sanctuary is in their deck and we didn't see it last game, that kind of furthers my guess on it just being mono blue. Because I don't think you'd be running this in a in a mixed deck. They're gonna play patiently, so will I. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if they want to counter a gem hide. Nope. What about a winding way? Would you like to counter my refill? That's fine. We got a creature out. It's just gonna help us play more things. Oop, I wanted to do this first, but oh well. All right, so, plated. How many counter spells are you holding in your hand? Okay. Let's try a Lord. All right. Let's see if we can put down another Lord. Maybe they just got a snap? And they're just going to snap something at end of turn. Uh, but that is a... That's a lot of stuff down for holding up four mana. It's tragic lessons. Okay. That's kind of a... I'm surprised they didn't do anything else on their turn. I guess they really wanted that card draw, but they just let us put down a full board here, so... It's not good for them. music too loud now It'll turn down a little bit uh, enchant creature at the beginning of each upkeep tap the creature yeah sure I don't care play your stuff out now what all right tapping down two of my creatures still not a huge deal here so they're tapped out and we're about to refill. Curse of Chains. All right. Let's go ahead and winding way first. Creature, all right, I like all of this. And we'll start swinging in for five. Let's make sure we exile that just in case. Pass to you. 
What can you do? These are just going to stay term permanently tapped, but we do have lethal on board, so they have a lot of work cut out for them. Seems like they're flooding a little bit, even. Ponder, looking for the answers. I don't think they're going to find what they're looking for. I mean, what can you do? You know, you... you Kill one of my other creatures, you tap another one down, I'm still swinging in for 15. You gotta deal with two things. I don't think they can do it efficiently. Coral Net. Uh, sir, unless you discard a card. Well, I can discard a card, so that's kind of pointless. So this isn't gonna work out for them. Say okay to this. Say okay to this. And do I discard like this? We're going to discard. And then we're going to swing in. You got a snap? Snap's not even going to save you here. I don't know what can. Do we win? You just wasted my time? Alright, here we go. Snap. Sure thing. Alright. Go to three. We'll attempt to replay this. There's a counter spell. Spell stutter. Spell stutter. That isn't going to work how you want it to. Uh, let's go ahead and exile something. Pass it back to them. Give them another shot here. Keep the planes in hand so we can discard. Yeah, super flood over here. All right. And we win. Cool. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed that matchup against some mono blue control. Uh, we did really good against them this time. No struggles whatsoever. So leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. If you want to keep seeing me play more Naya Slivers, make sure to subscribe. We hit the 300 mark last week. Thank you all very much for subscribing. Let's keep going. Let's keep getting up there in the 300s. I appreciate everybody subbing that did last week. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next video.